how's it going? Uh, got another uh, video here. It's the third part in the series of how ag technology works. And today we're going to be uh, we'll be telling you about yield monitors. technology that we use in agriculture is to minimize how many inputs that we apply to a given acre. The goal is to only put the amounts you need and put it in the right place. Uh, not only is this better for the farmer's bottom line, it's also better for the environment. So it's, uh, th it's thinking about uh, fertility for example as we covered in part one of the series you have different fertility needs across the field from acre to acre, why would you put a blanket application out of a, a, a fertilizer? Uh, and in some areas, you'll be putting out uh, too much fertilizer, more than what the crop can actually utilize. And then in, in other areas, you won't be putting out enough fertilizer, and, and therefore you won't be able to make uh, the, make the yield that the ground is capable of producing. So the goal of uh, the goal of this uh, ag technology is to only put the amount of uh, inputs that you need in a on the on the right on the right on the right acre. So. Uh, we know that, uh, see, we're harvesting corn, and we'll use that as an example. We know that corn, each bushel, when you take a bushel of corn out of the field, you're taking out 0.35 pounds of phosphorus, and you're taking out 0.25 pounds of potassium. And these are uh, these are the nutrients that each uh, bushel of corn contains, and when you uh, haul that bushel of corn off the field, you're removing that amount of nutrients. So, wouldn't it be great and say if we got our field where we want to as far as the fertility level, or we want to maintain that, uh, maintain that level, wouldn't it be great just to be able to apply just the amount of nutrients every year that we removed from the previous year's harvest. So, this is where uh, yield monitors come into play. The, uh, yield monitors is probably one of the earliest forms of ag technology that, that came along. It actually uh, came along before we had GPS. I would say uh, first yield monitors probably started appearing somewhere in the early 90s or so and they were they were pretty primitive units but uh, they've come a long way since then. And what a yield monitor does uh, if you've got one equipped on your harvest machine is it continuously monitors what the yield is as you're going across the field and then, map, and then maps it out so you know what each area of the field is yielding. So, uh, also, say for instance on a combine, a yield monitor consists of basically two, two pieces of hardware. It consists of a mass flow sensor on the grain elevator, and it also consists of a moisture sensor. Uh, the, the moisture sensor, as grain is going up the elevator, the moisture sensor takes a small sample of grain continuously and measures the moisture of it. The mass flow sensor is uh, located at the top of the elevator head where uh, grain is coming up into the tank. Uh, the elevator consists of a uh, paddle chain inside of the tube. And as, uh, as it's coming to the top of the elevator head, that paddle chain throws the grain into an impact sensor. And that's how 
the impact sensor measures the amount of force applied against it, and that's how it measures a grain flow. So the, the mass flow sensor measures grain flow in pounds per second. So you know a bushel of corn is 56 pounds. We know how fast we're going, so we're knowing uh, we know how we know how many you know. So we know we know the amount of ground being harvested per second, so then it's just a simple conversion to, fit, to figure out bushels per acre. So as you can see right here on the monitor, here's our yield. It's our instantaneous yield reading. That's how many bushels per acre that we're yielding in the we're, we're yielding in this spot. And as you can see, it's highly variable. Highly variable. So we just went from 150 to almost 250 bushels per acre. So if you're thinking about potash, for example, there's 100 bushels difference. The high yielding spot is needing 25 more pounds of potassium to replenish the nutrients that we removed versus the lower yielding area, which is needing 25 less pounds of potassium to replenish the, the nutrients that have been removed. Up here, if you can see it, that's our flow. That's the actual reading from the mass flow sensor. Uh, it's already converted it into, into bushels. And it's showing what our grain flow is for the elevator. And this guy is constantly changing as we're going through the field, as the yield changes, and as we speed up and slow down. Right down here is the moisture of the grain. And as you can see, it fluctuates too. We use the moisture to figure out how many true total bushels we got because the dry moisture for grain is 15 and a half percent on corn. So uh, we got to we got to figure in shrink values to find out what the true yield is. Because uh, if you're harvesting 17 and a half percent moisture corn, well, two percent of that weight is moisture that is not accounted for in yield. So we need to track that out when figuring the final yield. So when it's all said and done, I apologize there's a glare. It gives us a screen like this, and this is where it's actually mapped out. If you look at our legend, and you look at the different colors, you know, dark green is, is high yield, and you get down here to red, and it's low yield. You know, we've got the legend set between 125 bushels per acre and 250 bushels per acre. So then you go back and look at the map, you can see that yield is variable across the field. The darker green areas is really high yielding, and the, and the lighter green to reds and oranges is, is lower yielding areas. So uh, if we were to put a blanket application of fertilizer on this farm for the next year, we would be over applying fertilizer in some areas, which is not good for the environment, and we would, would potentially be not uh, applying enough fertilizer in the higher yielding areas, which could lead to a fertilizer deficiency sometime in the future. And then uh, there, there's also other applications for the data that we collect all field monitors. It, helps us see good areas in the field and bad areas in, in the field and then we can go out and try and determine why the lower yielding areas are not uh, are not yielding as well as they should. As you can see like right through here this is a lower yielding part of the field compared to right, what's right next to it. So the reason for that we need to find out what the reason for that is. Is it uh, do we need to build up fertility in that area? Uh, is uh, soil too acidic? Do we need to apply lime? Is there a drainage problem? Is the, does the soil stay wetter? Is there a water holding capacity? Does the, does the soil type change? And uh, is it not able to hold as much water as what's right next to it? So this, uh, if we uh, if we interpret this data the right way and find out the reason that's behind it, then you know hopefully in the future we can bring these lower yielding areas in the field up to higher yielding areas.
after uh, after harvest is complete, all of this data that we collect from our yield monitors is saved on a uh, memory card. We will take this and we will download it to our uh, desktop software and save it. And then this winter, we will uh, use the data in a, in a myriad of ways. We'll uh, use it to uh, figure out how much fertilizer we need to apply for next year. We'll, uh, we'll, cor uh, we'll correspond uh, this year's yield data with uh, yield data from years past to try and find consistently good yielding areas and bad yielding areas so we can create uh, seeding descriptions uh, and do variable rate seeding. And we'll also see if there's any trends that, uh, that might pop up. Maybe a, a good yielding part of the field has become where it's not being as productive. And we'll examine the yield maps and try and find out if we have areas like that and then find out what steps we need to take to be able to correct those issues. Anyway, that's uh, about all I got. Uh, yield monitors are, are very critical. Uh, it's taking a year's worth of work and compiling all that data into one form that we can use and find out what we did right this year or what, or what we did wrong this year. And it's a very critical tool in, in, taking, the next, in taking the next step on, on, on making yield. Uh, appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this uh, video, I'd appreciate you if you hit, uh, hit the thumbs up button. And if you like the kind of content that we make here, I'd appreciate if you subscribe to our channel. Every little bit of support that we get from our viewers helps. Uh, also, I would love to hear from our viewers. Uh, drop us a comment in the comment section. And if there's something about our farm that you'd like to learn more about, uh, please let us know. We're always looking for new ideas. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll be back again later.